by these exceeding great and precious promises, you might become partakers of the divine nature. What's he speaking of there? That as I enjoy the generosity of God, I too become generous. That I enjoy the blessings of God, I too become the vehicle of his blessing to others. There's a great story about James Gordon Bennett. He was a New York businessman. Owned one of the great newspapers there. He had a habit at Christmas time to fill his pocket with various denominations of bills. And at random, he would reach into his pocket and take one out and shake the hands of his employees and give them whatever happened to come out as a little bonus. One day, he stepped into the elevator. The elevator boy greeted him. Good day, Mr. Bennett. Bennett reached into his pocket, pulled out a bill, and squeezed it into the hand of the young elevator boy and said, Merry Christmas, son. He looked at it. It was a hundred dollar bill. Now, this was back in the late 1800s. A hundred dollars was a fortune. The young man tried to give it back to him and said, This is too much to give to an elevator boy. And the businessman said, It may be too much for an elevator boy to receive, but it's not too much for James Gordon Bennett to give. They're Christians. When we pray to the Lord, when we ask Him for His mercies, for His blessings, do we take advantage of His generosity? Oh, how God delights in the boldness of faith that takes God at His word and says, Look, if God's willing to give me a son, what will He not give me? And to plead our cause, to plead our case, to ask great things of a great God. Sometimes I think we ask Him, such a little bit it's like trying to ask for change for a penny and he says I'm sorry I can't break it down that far oh how he wants to bless us and he says you can glorify me by understanding that all of my promises are available to you all of the promises of God in him yea and amen yes and that's for sure Paul says I couldn't find any nays in the promises of God you won't either there isn't one nay in all the promises of God. Everything is yes and that's for sure. He offers his son to us. Revel in him. Share him. Enjoy him. You can afford to be generous. Glorify God by living a generous-hearted life. By laying hold of the generosity of God. By receiving his blessings. And by sharing them with all with whom we meet.